Well, hello, Capricorn. So this is your reading. Sorry about that. <laughs> for the full moon in Aries. And uh, why is it that I have this feeling that it would only be the female Capricorns that are watching or cross-watchers of male Capricorns? Because I find that male Capricorns find anything having to do with tarot or... or I hate to say it, but, but, you know, spirituality, past life regression, all sorts of that. They just, they can't handle it. I think deep down, um, they, uh, they believe in it, but the problem is male Capricorns, I find, they need to see empirical evidence of everything, um, or they don't accept it. Uh, female Capricorns are too busy uh, doing their artist, artistry, because they're just incredible. Um, the female Capricorns that I've met are artists, um, just so self-actualized, grounded. Well, Capricorn is an earth sign, but it's cardinal, you see? So you, it's really, um, it's like a polarity. You're grounded, but cardinal, uh, it's a beautiful combination. So, um, it's perfect for an artist, um, I, I would imagine it would be quite restricting for a male uh, who uh, has not yet discovered or accepted um, his spiritual side. And uh, I would recommend for any male Capricorn to, um, to you know, come on, you know, don't be so serious. Okay, um, but they're all very, you know, all the male Capricorns that I've met are just, it's, they, one stands out in particular, um self-made, very um, business-oriented, uh, but um, so confident and so grounded and powerful as all hell. Um, okay, so I'm going to just uh, come up with some numbers for you first. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. All right. So on the one hand, we have a four, which is great, which is, you know... Um, uh, solidity, commitment. We've got a two, which is beautiful. And then we have two fives, which could be looked at in two ways. No one wants to see the fives. Five of wands, you know, uh, five of cups, uh, five of swords. All of it is sadness, fighting, uh, petty arguments, competition. However, Capricorn does get involved with that. But five plus five is ten, and ten of cups or ten of pence is awesome. Bear with me. Okay, so we're doing a Celtic cross for Capricorn. Looking for a first position. Now, some people believe that you should take the, you know, one of the major arcana cards of Capricorn right out and put it there. Um, I'm not going to do that. Because I think somehow it tells us what Capricorn is going through right now. And I'm just going to, I'm going to re- Yeah, of course Capricorn is working hard. Eight of Pentacles. Of course. Of course. Of course you are. All right. Let's see what crosses you, Cappy. Crosses you. Crosses my Cappies. Capricorns are not ruled by any planet, by the way. What a surprise. And if, they're, if they are affected, if the male Capricorns are affected... Okay, i got to stop talking while I'm shuffling. If the male Capricorns are affected by this full moon in Aries, they won't admit it. Uh, they just won't acknowledge it. Um, female Capricorns are very self-actualized, so they, of course, would be aware of it. All right. Across is, across is Capricorn. I see something very significant. Oh, ending something. Or being stabbed in the back. And that fucking owl, I'm sorry, this is the first time I've sworn on, but that owl, somebody watching you, this is crossing you, but um, what I feel like is that uh, this is not anything to be concerned with, and I feel like this could be the challenge is for you to end feeling like that, for you to end feeling like you're being watched. I cannot get lighting to work today, and I've had so many technical issues. I'm blaming it all on the full moon, of course. 
Okay, so I think your challenge is to stop being stabbed in the back. Um, how do you do that? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so in the next position is, um, although I believe Capricorns are capable of obtaining anything more than any other astrological sign, the next position would be at this very moment, what is the highest thing that Capricorn is looking to obtain? What are they looking, what are they focusing on right now and looking to obtain or or to uh, achieve? Uh, Spirit is telling me to switch decks, that's fine. Spirit bosses me around all the time. Oh, this deck is telling me I'm old. Get me a new deck. No way. There you go. See, that's why I'm not getting anything new. Oh, wow. Five of Pence reversed. Yeah, you need to do some work. Okay, I think I solved some of the lighting problems. This is incredible. I feel like I'm I am reading for a male Capricorn right now. What we got as what this person or what Capricorn wants to achieve now is um, not feeling left out in the cold because um, it's not five of pence, it's five of pence reversed. So um, why is it that some of the most talented people on the earth feel left out in the cold? Maybe because they can't find people that are on their level. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, shall we clarify with the sneaky cats? Yes, we shall. Uh, what is, what is this hope that Capricorn, what is this goal right now that Capricorn has? Oh, come on, talk to me. Yes, seven of pence. Okay, so... Yeah, you put so much work in, you put so much work in, and you're still feeling like people are leaving you out in the cold, and you've done a lot for other people. You have. Every Capricorn that I know has. Um, that's easily obtained. Jesus, set your goals higher. Okay, um, let's look at the tools that you have to work with. Oh, you've got everything, I'm sure, but what is the tool that you need to achieve this? I bet you it's going to be a card related to spirituality. What is the tool that Capricorn needs to achieve this goal, please? For once and for all, for Christ's sakes. Sorry, I've been swearing all day. There it is right there. Okay. Okay, it's the card of competition. It's the five of wands, but um, it's I, this, there is a great discussion over whether or not this is a an actual fight or if it's a play fight, okay? Um, so what I see here is that you have to stop feeling like you have to compete with other people. You don't. Cappies, you're so awesome. There is no competition, okay? So uh, the tools that you have to work with, don't go play fighting. Don't, don't start those fights. I don't see that as a tool, but maybe what this means is not to seriously fight, just to joke around fight type thing. Uh, let's get a clarification from the, which is tarot. What is it that, what tool does Capricorn need to achieve this goal of, he's got to stop feeling like he's being left out. Thank Okay, the clarification card that came out, this is interesting. Uh, it's a card of Libra, but it's justice. Now remember that this card always means that people who have done you wrong get what they deserve in the end. So I think uh, what this is saying is don't worry about people who've done you wrong. Karma is going to get them. Okay. Um, also, it's going to be a fair result. It could also mean uh, just taking a firm stand on something and stopping uh, the uh, ridiculousness that other people are bringing to you. Because what I see is that a lot of people are bringing you a lot of nonsense, okay? So that would go right into the, this is not a real fight, it's play fighting. Uh, people want to be around you, Capricorn. Uh, they just do. Um, so they're going to pretend that things are real problems when they're not, okay? 
So I, I see, I love Libras, okay? Um, I've only met one Libra female and uh, I was blown away by her, very impressed. Um, when they make a decision, they make a decision and they might, they could use some very cutting words, but it's done. So, um, and it's fair. So this could mean just being done with people that bring you nonsense, okay? Um, okay, traditional deck for your recent past, okay? Recent past. Not many people care much about this position because it's done, it's over with. Why would you want to know? Why would you want to be reminded of it? But anyway, recent past for Cappies. Recent past. Feel like I know what card is going to come up, but in recent past for Cappies. Okay, fine. So it's two different deck. I'm just I'm not putting up with this for my decks anymore. Recent past for Cappies, please. Recent past. Come on now, give us some useful information. And don't give me like eight cards. Recent past for Cappies. Okay, I see it. Oh. Temperance, you've been patient. Uh, okay, so either you've been with a Sagittarius or you've been very, very patient. And you have successfully um, done what no one else can do. Um, they sometimes call uh, the, the Temperance, uh, this lady, the alchemist. Because she's pouring two different kinds of liquids. She's making, she's blending two people that would normally not be capable of coming together. And she's doing it. Temperance has a lot of hard work to do. I mean, it's associated with Sagittarius and Patience, but Temperance has really uh, and constantly works hard. She's the ultimate alchemist. So you've, you've successfully blended two opposites. You did it. Okay, Cappy, so the next position is the immediate future. I don't know why I felt like picking up the cat deck, but um, if something doesn't jump... Oh, there we go. Okay, there's two. We're going to take two of them. Wow, these are two very strange cards. <laughs> you're losing sleep. Okay, you're losing sleep over love. We had the Nine of Swords and the Two of Cups come out. So you may be undecided uh, in, the, in the immediate future about what to do about your love life. What a surprise. Uh, it really doesn't matter because you're going to be great anyway your whole life. Uh, but do pick someone that won't drive you nuts and take you away from whatever business you're doing or artistry you're doing or whatever. Um, wow. So you must be interested in someone. Okay, well, that's good. That's really good. Okay, so uh, the next position are energies that you are bringing in. Okay, so these are... You may not be aware of this, so uh, this is a really useful position. So what is, what are the energies that Capricorn is bringing into this situation right now in the time, in this time in their lives? What are the energies that they're bringing in? Beautiful. Uh, you've got some really good past memories, beautiful past memories. Um, it's either of your childhood or... Um, uh, someone that you were with uh, romantically. So that's a really good energy to be bringing in. Okay. Um, so the next position uh, will be external influences. Okay. Um, so these things, I know that you don't like to hear this, Cappy, but these are things that are going to happen anyway. Um, so why not know about them um, so you can prepare there, that's the logical objective argument that Capricorns would normally accept. Okay, so for example, if there were to be a monsoon or, you know, a tornado or something, you'd want to know about that, right? So you could prepare. So these are external. These could also be um, uh, the effects that people around you are having on you that, that you're not really paying attention to. Oh, you probably hated me saying that. Okay. So what are the external influences on Capricorn right now? One just flew right out of the deck. Well, you worry not. Your wish card just came out. Uh, whatever external influences are acting upon you, they are going to assist you in getting to exactly where you want to get. And there is no question about that. 
little break in the tape cubby. Okay, so the next position will make absolutely no sense to Capricorn. <laughs> um, hopes and fears. I guess you'll know what it is when, when you see it, but I just, it doesn't make sense to me. Is it a hope? Is it a fear? I don't know. Uh, okay, so Spirit just told me to look at the bottom of the deck. And I see Wheel of Fortune. Why on earth would someone feel? Okay, you could fear change. Um, so it's either a fear of change or a hope of things getting better. Um, so either way, okay, here's what I would say to that. Um, when you, first, first of all, Wheel of Fortune always means felicity, luck, uh, money coming your way. At The wheel will turn. Okay, whether you like it or not, things are going to change because the wheel just turns. Okay, um, so if you fight against it, um, it's not good. It's the way that I like to explain it to people. The analogy I use is, um, uh, so I live in Newfoundland where the climate is not the best. So we always, uh, and in the winter time, it's very dangerous driving. Um, everyone has to get their tires changed over, and it's very expensive and uh, it's stressful. Um, so I always used to fight against the seasons changing. Um, so what the Wheel of Fortune wants you to do is to work with the energies. So um, so you just find a way of finding something positive in every change, okay? Now, like I've said before in previous readings, if a serial killer comes knocking on your door and wants to move in with you, of course you'd reject that. But generally, you want to invite um, the things that, that have to, you know, the, the seasons, things that you know uh, are inevitable to change and that will work with you. So if it was a fear of change, that's all you have to do. If it was a hope, that's great. Uh, means money, felicity, luck, um, all sorts of good things. So the next position, Capricorn, is the outcome. So I'm going to ask all decks for this. Okay. Can we have the outcome for Capricorn, please? Who's worked so hard? Feel like something really wants to jump out. God. Oh, it does. Beautiful. Okay, so Capricorn, congratulations. You're going through some kind of a change, a renewal, a wake-up call. Um, it's like you're being raised from the dead. It's the judgment card, which means renewal. I don't know if you can see these people from their coffins be, literally becoming alive again. So whatever you're doing. Okay, just a little footnote to that last card. Um, it's a beautiful card of renewal. Uh, it's like having an, a new life, okay? Um, it's just incredible. Uh, so anyway, so some of you, some of you may be going through this. Other Capricorns may not be. Um, so I always like whatever's around me, I turn over the decks to see what's on the bottom. Um, anything that you feel restricted by right now, it's all in your head. Okay. Um, you, at the second, uh, deck says you are on top of your game. Okay. Uh, you could have six enemies and ward them off and eat a ham sandwich and take a shave and, you know, read uh, Victor Frankl's Holocaust Diaries at the same time and you'd still be on top of your game, okay? Um, and on the bottom of the last deck was the Queen of Wands, which is an Aries woman. So anyway, um, Cappies, you're amazing. Just keep doing what you're doing. Uh, if you're, that judgment card tells me that you're going through some kind of a renewal uh, or a change, uh, just keep going, okay? It is the right thing. I know you don't feel like it's in your nature to do, uh, but it will just make you more powerful. Wouldn't you love that? That's mostly for my male Capricorns. My female Capricorns already know that. Okay, guys, um, and don't forget, it's this is a full moon in Aries, so uh, do not propose marriage to anyone this weekend, please, because you'll change your mind at the end of the month. Okay.